know it's kind of hard to see but that's your transformer this is going to take 120 volts from this side of the furnace board it'll go through the wirings up here step it down to 24 volts send it through the wiring into this plug right here for troubleshooting right here I know I got power and the transformer is good life is great but if you walk up you do not see the lights on right here that's going to tell you one of two things no 24 volts bad board so take your meter and your probes okay you'll find over here where something will say XFMR which means transformer you'll have a black wire for hot white wire for neutral remember to disconnect power to the furnace before you mess with those high voltage lines or you're going to get lit up like the 4th of July type of thing. You can then put your meter probe here, put a meter probe there with it on to check for 120 volts out. Because if something goes wrong between the line and XFMR connection the board will not put it out. But those boards you have the two terminals are connected like here where power can go in through my hand to the thumb. If something breaks on there, you won't have it. It's rare, but power spikes can make that happen. So you can also, once you shut it off, you can disconnect your XFMR plug, disconnect the neutral, put a meter probe in there, and ohm out the primary side of the transformer. So if you ohm out the primary side, and you get, oh, we'll say 10 ohms. Cool, great. That doesn't mean the transformer itself is good. It just means the one half of this transformer is good. You follow it down through here, see what plug you have, disconnect here. You can ohm out there, or if the wire connections are here, you can disconnect and ohm out there. Remove that plug, put your meter probes in there. And you can ohm out the secondary side. So if your transformer says 10 ohms primary OL on secondary, congratulations, the secondary side of the transformer has been fried. Make sure things are wired up correctly before you start putting new fuses. And make sure your board's okay in case something fried it that way. That's about it on troubleshooting a transformer. You can also take, you know, from one line here the wire here with it disconnected and go to ground with your meter to see if you have um, shorted out transformer to ground. You can also check too, like remember in another video I said the R and C because this right here connects electrically through that board to this plug right here. So if you have 24 here you're more likely less you're more you're you're more likely to have 24 here and 24 there but if you don't have it here you have to check here to differentiate between is it board or is it the transformer type of deal so as long as you can understand those little basics with troubleshooting 24 volt circuits it helps you understand a lot of that stuff especially when it comes to the transformer because remember this thing runs 24 7 taking higher power in and then stepping it down all transformers do is change voltage from one voltage to another if we put 24 volts on this side of the transformer we would have an output then of 120 volts on there so hopefully the video explanation helps out on that like subscribe and share bye bye